Hello, welcome to this week's Word of the Week. The Word of the Week this week is vocation. My name is Tom. And my name is Joshua. And this is... Vocation. I, no, I mean... We will show it... Extraordinary! Okay, very special reason that we are here in Joshua's room today. Uh, Zach's downstairs somewhere, we might see him in a bit. Um, but today, vocation is a very special word. It means all about jobs. What job do you want to do when you grow up? Be a woodcutter. Oh, you want to be a woodcutter? Because I want to chop down trees and they do fine. Well, exactly. So we can look after the environment and like be a tree surgeon. That's very cool. Yeah, vocation, sometimes we think it's the job that we're going to do. But actually, in the scripture we're going to hear, we hear it's actually about a lot more, it's about just how we live our lives for other people. Let's listen to this story and see what it tells us about vocation. A reading from the Holy Gospel according to John. Glory to you, O Lord. Jesus said, the sheep that belong to me listen to my voice. I know them and they follow me. I give them eternal life. They will never be lost and no one will ever steal them from me. The Father who gave them to me is greater than anyone, and no one can steal from the Father. The Father and I are one. The Gospel of the Lord. Praise to you, Lord Jesus Christ. Now, in the story, it talks about shepherds. What's a shepherd? Shepherd if we is someone who looks after sheep. Indeed, and in the story, Jesus is the shepherd, isn't he? Yeah. So, but why is Jesus a shepherd? Because we're his sheep. Yeah, man, we're his sheep. And Good Shepherd Sunday, Vocation Sunday, the story is all about Jesus looking after us because that's what he was called to do. And it's a reminder, particularly of priests, because priests are sometimes called shepherds, like Father Joe, who's our priest down the road. He's a bit like a shepherd because he looks after us. But who do you, who do you look after, Joshua? You look after trees, obviously. Is there any people you look after? Um, you are my family. Yeah, my, my family. And that's interesting because vocation, I think sometimes we think it means being a priest or being a nun. But my, probably my favourite vocation, as well as obviously being a husband, uh, shout out to my wife, uh, is also being a dad. Because being a dad's a vocation. And I'm your dad. You have to do another story tell. I'll tell you another story. Or well, you have to do a, 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 you have to read that to read one of the real stories. Yeah. Oh, like one of one of these stories, like yeah. from the Bible. Yeah. Now you see, the Bible's full of people who follow their vocation, because God calls us, the word vocation means to be called, like vocare comes from Latin means to call. You, you, you see who's called, and who's this guy? Oh, who's this guy? Joshua, Joshua's in the Bible. Do you know what he was called to do? Yeah. He was called to be a leader and to lead his people to the promised land. That's very cool. Today, I want you to think about what it is you're being called to do, what jobs you've got. Not the kind of like careers, although that's an important thing to think about, but actually the kind of things you're called to do in your life. Because vocation often means service and looking after people. You have to read it. I know I have to read it. No. Oh, to these guys. Do you think they want to hear it? Yeah, I think they do as well. I think they want to hear it as well. You have to ask them questions. Oh, ask them questions. Okay, well then, let's ask them some questions. What do you think you're being called to do today? Have a think about that. And who do you think it is that's kind of looking after you? Who's using their vocation to care for you? Because it might be your teachers. You've got teachers, haven't you, that look after you? Yeah, yeah and mummy's a teacher as well. So my wife, your mummy's a teacher, that's her vocation. Yeah. <laughs> uh, and you've got people... Have to, ask, have to tell me a question and then I'll tell them to boys and girls. Okay. Oh, who was that? Sheep, we've got some sheep, Good Shepherd Sunday. Um, I have to tell, I know I have to go clear up the camera and then tell them what sheep are. Okay. Sheep are very special animals, what? You show everyone the this sheep. Is the sheep. There they are, look. There's the sheep. So, this year on Good Shepherd Sunday, in the week of vocations, think about what it is you're called to do. <laughs> think about who it is you're called to love and serve, and in doing so, you'll be thinking about what God is calling to you, you to do in your vocation. Right, Joshua, what you got to say to me? You'll say, thanks for joining us. See you next week. Say thanks for joining us. Thanks for joining us. See you next week.
Bye. Bye. Hey, Zach. Zach, can you say extraordinary? No.